Hi there. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're not new here, welcome to my channel. Again. Anyway, if you're watching this, wondering why, why is he doing this, or what's the point? Well, stick around, and I'll tell you. I might even add a little, little twist at the end, but if you skip through, that twist won't make sense. Or it won't really be a twist, it'll be twistless. At any rate, put your feet up for a few. Maybe fix a drink, I don't know. Just give me 10 minutes or however long this video ends up and I'll try to make it worth your while. I'll be using some pretty basic tools for this. Stuff you might already have at home, but if not, I'll put some links in the description. There are affiliate links, so a nice little way to help support me, if you're into that. I decided I had one line too many here, and it's much easier to fix that before I start grinding away with my cheap files. Maybe I popped up in your recommendations at 2 in the morning? Or maybe you were simply searching how to turn a screw into a scorpion? Probably not, but if you were, well, this is the video for you. Or maybe you're one of my subscribers. If you're not, you should be. It's just a little click right there on that button that says subscribe. I don't think it's much to ask, but hey, for all I know, you might not have any fingers. But I guess you could use your nose or something. Uh, okay, that's, that's a little weird. Moving on. This is the point where if you have any frustrations, you can take them out on the brass. Eventually, you'll get so frustrated by hammering that you can take those frustrations out by more hammering. Win-win. Although your elbow might not agree with you. Some of you have asked how many tries it takes me to get to what you see in the video. Well, because I would hate to start all over at this point, I'm careful to get it right the first time. So if I get stumped, sometimes I might fiddle around with paper, planning out exactly how I'm going to make my bends. However, it's at this point right here that I realized I wasted my time because this was never going to work. This is never gonna work. His legs are way too small to bend that way. But, I'm not mad about it. I'll just have to include some extra detail before I cut it out. A lot of you have asked, why not just use a brass sheet and save yourself the trouble? That's a very good question with a very loaded answer. I could say jokingly that I just like to make things more difficult than they should be. But in all honesty, there is some truth in that. 
There are a number of ways I could go about this and get the same end result visually. But it's not the end result that motivates me really. It's the challenge. To look at an object and try to figure out just how to manipulate that piece in just the right way to get to the end result. It's like a puzzle to me. Sometimes I think of a crazy idea and then it just sits in the back of my mind for weeks or even months, almost completely forgotten about. Then one day I have that aha moment. I've solved the puzzle. Almost. Now I just need to see if it can physically play out in reality. Most of the time, pretty much always, there are parts that need to be tweaked along the way, but that's just part of the challenge. So there you go. The challenge of just looking at, in this case, one object and trying to figure out how to pull it apart and manipulate it to make up what's in my very weird head. That's what keeps me going. Basically, I like to turn random, physically useful objects into random, physically useless objects. Such is art. But if I can create something visually appealing and be challenged while doing it, that's a win. After wasting 20 minutes stupidly thinking I could widen this gap with sandpaper in any reasonable amount of time, I decided to try a wider spiral tooth blade instead. Now we're talk- I quit. I decided to keep going. Did you know a scorpion's tail is flat on three sides? Me neither. Actually, I just made that part up. But here's a true fact. The venom from a Deathstalker scorpion is the most expensive liquid in the world at $39 million per gallon. That's crazy. I really hope the scorpion gets a decent cut of that. To polish up tiny little details, I like to roll up a little bit of sandpaper and just stick it into my Dremel. Just be sure you have it rolled in the right direction of spin, otherwise it'll likely just unravel. Really fast. At your face. Now, it goes without saying that you shouldn't be doing this sort of work without proper protection. You know, if you value your eyes and lungs anyway. But you may not know that you also shouldn't be surfing the internet without proper protection. What? Well, thanks to today's sponsor, NordVPN, you can easily do that. If you're like me and not the most tech savvy, that's okay. I'll try my best to simplify what NordVPN does. Say your sensitive information is traveling from point A to point B. As it's traveling along, some bad actors come along and snatch that information up, stealing your passwords, banking information, and whatever else they can get. Well, what NordVPN does is they come in and smash those bad actors. Wait, what? Oh, they... They don't smash? Got it. Okay, so they cloak your information using a secure tunnel with military-grade encryption, hiding all your sensitive stuff. It's super easy to use, even on your mobile devices. All you do is open the app, use their quick connect feature, which will find the fastest nearby server, and that's it. The internet's a scary place, but protecting yourself from bad things such as identity theft is pretty easy. All you have to do is go to nordvpn.com forward slash Ross the Random, or use promo code Ross the Random. And if you sign up soon, you can get the two-year plan with four months free and 
73% off. That's like 70% off, but better. All right, let's get this guy put together. That's not gonna fit. I'll figure that out later. I wedged an old saw blade in there to prevent scratching or grinding away at the bottom piece. Which would have actually made sense if I weren't about to cut that piece off anyway. Oh well. For every part I sand, I'm starting with 500 grit, then 1000, then 1200. Then I'll finish with super fine steel wool. And if you're wondering, why the jump from 500 to 1000? Well, there's actually a very good reason for that. It's, um, it, it's all I have right now. I'd be lying if I said it didn't take me two days just to muster up the courage to bend this tail to shape. Terrified it would snap right off and then I'd have to make a crab or something. Anyway, a little heat does the trick to make the brass softer and easier to work with. So, about that twist, I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to put this little guy up on eBay. See, I recently got this little shiny thing in the mail. I don't know what it does, but it looks really cool. And it has my name on it. So as a way of saying thank you, I'm going to be donating 100% of the proceeds of that auction to the Children's Health Fund. As a father myself, I can't think of a better cause. And just for fun, I'm going to update the title of this video each night to reflect the current auction price up until it sells. Maybe I'll later include the ad revenue as well. I don't know. Could be fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting me here. And a very special thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Guys, don't forget to go to nordvpn.com forward slash Ross the Random or use promo code Ross the Random. If you need a VPN, that's a great way to support me, and I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll see you all in the next one.